Donald Trump and Joe Biden battled it out in a second and final presidential debate on Thursday night. It was a far more watchable civil conversation than their first meeting. President Trump was more restrained and came with a mission to deliver a couple of key messages. He tried to emphasize the economy and tried to play up the fact that Biden is a career politician. The two men were actually able to discuss policy in a format that was digestible and comprehensible for viewers. Those policy debates included conversations over immigration, racial justice, health care, North Korea, and of course, the coronavirus. The pandemic and the president's response to it has been a key argument for the Biden campaign, and that's how the Democratic presidential nominee began the night. 220,000 Americans dead. If you hear nothing else I say tonight, Hear this. Anyone who's responsible for not taking control, in fact, not saying I'm, I take no responsibility initially, anyone who's responsible for that many deaths should not remain as president of the United States of America. President Trump tried to emphasize that a vaccine would be ready soon. And as he has been doing for months, he insisted the cure for the pandemic should not be worse than the problem itself. When I say we're learning to live with it. We have no choice. We can't lock ourselves up in a basement like Joe does. He has the, <laughs> he has the ability to lock himself up. I don't know. He's obviously made a lot of money someplace. But he has this thing about living in a basement. People can't do that. By the way, I, as the president, couldn't do that. I'd love to put myself in the basement or in a beautiful room in the White House and go away for a year and a half until it disappears. I can't do that. Biden seized on that language, insisting the country was not learning to live with the virus. He said people were learning to die with it. And although Biden is the challenger in this race, he has a long political record to defend. And that was something that Donald Trump tried to highlight. He criticized Biden for the 1994 crime bill and the Obama administration's record on deportations. Biden has long run on the legacy of Barack Obama, but on immigration, as on health care, he tried to draw some distinctions. Still, this debate did not seem to have the tone or the substance to dramatically alter the trajectory of the race. Already, an estimated 49 million people have voted early. Asma Khalid, NPR News. Thank <laughs> you.